it wasn't really a question. It was, um, oh shoot, how can I say this? I was called an effing traitor. And then I was called a sellout. Why? Because through the wonders of modern technology and social networking, it has come to public light that I have purchased a track phone. Oh, yeah! No. Uh, I, I'm not trying to, like, glorify this. Um, I've done things in my life that I'm very ashamed of. Um, but, of course, I'm going to share it all with all of you. Um, I did purchase a cellular telephone device, which is currently out of minutes and ridiculously expensive to recharge. But I am the anti... Hold, let me finish my... Keep your hand up, please. But, um, okay. What was I saying? Anyway, I am kind of developed some kind... I'm part of... found myself part of some kind of movement of anti-technology. And somehow the people who have become part of this snowballing movement feel that I have betrayed them. And my apologies, it's not my intention. It had something to do with a girl. Next question. <laughs> Mr. Hedgel, it's true that at one time you wrote a song that goes, and I might get this wrong, uh, cell phones give you brain cancer? You yes, 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 sir. There, there is on the... Just on the, the question. Don't sell out. Sell out. Yes, there is a song. Next question. <laughs> what could you answer, address that? Why you would buy a track phone if you wrote a song? Um, I still believe... I still believe, with all honesty, cell phones do cause brain cancer, or at least contribute to it, along with eating food that is not really food. Okay, thank you, sir. Um, any other questions? Are you willing to get brain cancer first? I've been turning this question over in my mind, and I, I got the cell phone anyway. Sometimes you just have to say, health, you're stupid. <laughs> Any other questions? Seriously, anything. Would you, uh, would you consider getting another cell phone just for us in the band, or would you the, the one cell phone you would keep for the girl, but you wouldn't for the band? Um, no, I will never acquire two cellular telephones. <laughs> Anyone else? Anything, it could be about anything. Anything. I'm not joking. What's the breathing rate of a blue whale after it comes up from a, a dive? Um, I'll, I'll have to be honest with you. Um, being an evangelical for a long time, I've come in contact with a lot of people who try to make up questions to things they don't really know anything about, or make up answers. Oh, I know the answer. I just want to see. I, I do not know. Um, you could either inform me now, or I'll be forced to research this myself after much loss of sleep. Respiratory rate of three per minute. Thank you. Three per minute. Yes. Mr. Mitchell, would you consider yourself a contortionist? I. Would I consider myself a contortionist? It's a completely reasonable question. I would not consider myself a contortionist, however, I do aspire to one day work to that. I wanted to join the circus as a young man. I Now I want to create a circus. Can you please demonstrate? I... Take off the coat first. Um, I'm not going to demonstrate fully, just, just, no, no, I'm, I'm actually not, I just, I'm going to show you the arm trick, it's old and boring to people who actually know me. It goes down like that both ways, I can do both at once, but honestly not that spectacular, when I can do both legs behind my head and both arms, then I will consider myself contortionist. Yes, sir. Why are you holding this press conference without any press? Um, <laughs> I'm hoping someone to hear my blog about it. Are you sure you want that to happen? Um, this person is blogging about it. Yeah. Um, I'll be flying to St. Louis. Um, I'll arrive Monday morning. I will be giving some on-camera interviews there for the first time. As What's all that about? I'm giving on-camera interviews in St. Louis. It, I don't know, look it up on the internet in a few weeks. I, I'm curious to see what they ask. 
Anyone else? Since we still have some time? Yes, sir. How do you feel about Green Day's recent releases? Green Day's recent releases? Um, yeah. I like Dookie for nostalgia reasons, but that's not exactly recent now, is it? I enjoyed the Warning album more than I should. Um, <laughs> if I was going to listen to a Green Day album, I'd listen to Warning. However, American Idiot, I think, was garbage and everything afterward. Um, if you do not agree with me, I still love you, and so does Jesus Christ. Next question. Where do you live? I, I currently live, I would say, in short, in the belly of a child eating potato, which is my van, which is in, uh, more or less, in this man's driveway. Anyone else? I saw a hand over there. Is there a hand in the back? I have considered running for office. Um, I fully intend to be assassinated within a week of entering office. So, yes. I am about to be nationally certified as a reverend. That is true. A reverend of what? Well, sir, if you are a reverend, I have a question for you. Oh, shucks. Okay. <laughs> it has been said that the bigger the hair, the closer to God. Now, on my behalf, I would like your input. And also notice your hair is laying down a little bit yourself right now. It isn't really protruding, going forth towards oh, the heavens. My, my hair is yeah. not. If you come see me when I first emerge from my sleeping bag, my hair is definitely raised up to, to heaven. Right now it is in front of my face to hide my emotions. Are you holding this press conference because your, your set is shorter than normal? Our set is actually obnoxiously long. I hope you stick around. We're just here early. You're here early, I'm killing time. Yes, sir. I'm wondering, how many times are you playing this weekend? Because, do we have to do this every single time? I, I do not do this every single time. I thought this was a special event. I'm comfortable with all of you people. Um, I, this is the only press conference I'll be giving in this state for probably the next couple of years, actually. So. Uh, again, okay, sure. Uh, sir, I'm speaking on behalf of myself, and also Dan, who just walked away. Caleb has brought to my attention that on behalf of people like myself, what about our spiritual stance? <laughs> Your spiritual stance on... Your spiritual stance is served in the hair. Um, I, I... I believe that, uh, God accepts you, and he made you just as you are, and that is super. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. Righteous river. Thank you. Um, sorry for the lack of charisma. I'm bottling it up for later. Any other questions? Uh, yes. Uh, you just mentioned a few minutes ago that you were going to join a circus, but make a circus. I am planning on assembling a circus, and congratulations, you are probably a part of it. Can I have your autograph? You're part of it already. Yes. <laughs> uh, I some zini? Have you finished your question? Well, uh, is, is the making of the circus in any relation to the girl in St. Louis? Um, as far as... That has yet to be seen. Okay. Mm, possibly. It's behind you. Behind you. <laughs> yes, sir. Do women really prefer Old Spice for their men? <laughs> <laughs> Um, I would have to actually. Yeah, some some girls like it. Do you even wear the other? I I do. Um, I am not a hippie. I am not a punk. I am not really much of anything. I like to shower and I like to wear deodorant at least periodically. I'm not wearing deodorant presently. Yes. Um. Yes. <laughs> Quickly, next question. <laughs> As their booking agent, <clears throat> yes, we do have plans to book runes and numerals in ten states on the same day. I will fulfill everything I've ever said. This. When I leave the state of Oregon, um, am I actually leaving the state of Oregon? Well, you know, arbitrarily. 
picking the spin. Did the flashing light mean uh, stop or stop playing? Because I, I, I saw that. When, when I'm 46, I hopefully 46 members. I'm, I'm a little behind right now. I'm planning on adding a member per year. Um, I'm not very old yet. Um, oh shoot, we still have a couple more minutes. I'm, I'm sorry. Um, you, you can ask more questions, anything that's... Uh, Will you still need me when I'm 54? <laughs> and I'll still feed you. <laughs> yes. Is, is there anything else? Okay. Closing statements. What's up? <laughs> yeah, I didn't see you raise your hand, so I might choose to disregard that. Go ahead. Okay. But, um, so, um, I don't know. I, I actually had something really profound to say um, the other day. I went hiking up to that waterfall up there, and um, I, I felt like God gave me a really amazing word to share with all you people, but then... And setting up the stage, it seems to have slipped my mind. But um, at this moment, I'd just like to say that it's been a really insane couple of years for me. It's been a really insane couple of years, I know, for several of you in this room. Um, some, several people I know um, two years ago had the worst year of their life. And um, several people, not just a couple isolated incidences. So there's just been something in the atmosphere that's been really heavy. And um, I just would, I, I imagine there's um, at least a few Christians here. Um, if you can take time to, to pray for that and pray for people around you and just try to, you know, keep your friends in line, just encourage each other in practical ways, try to be helpful, try not to be completely selfish all the time, even though that's the easiest thing to do. And uh, just try to be patient with people. Um, don't be a jerk. I, I try not to be a jerk. Um, I try not to be a lot of things. I uh, fail, uh, at least periodically, if not a majority of the time. Um, but uh, I'm really glad we're all here together at x -Fest. Um I don't know. This, I, I really hope this continues for a while, and this grows, and uh, that God does what he wants with it. Um, uh, well, I, I think he will, either way, if we want to or not. But if we could just all be willing to do whatever he wants, then it'll be, uh, be super. So thanks to Jeannie and all the organizers here for keeping this machine uh, running. Yeah! Um, seriously, all the sound guys have been working really hard. A lot of people have lost a lot of sleep, um, lost a lot of meals, um, missed bands that they'd rather be seeing than bands for doing sound for. Um, anyway, um, I'm going to say this meeting's over. Um, you can text all your friends now who went back to camp to go get a snack and tell them to get back here because we are about to destroy everything. Thank you very much. And all of God's Pact Church children said, Amen!